Hello all you science furs and everybody else out there in YouTube land. Scorch G Dragon here. Today I would like to demonstrate what I would call a free three-phase alternator. What you see here is the motor stator and rotor salvaged from a typical direct drive washing machine. This type of motor is becoming very common in many different brands of top and front load washing machines and because this type of motor is becoming so common you should be able to find these for free in any old junk washing machines in alleys, junk piles, or behind appliance delivery and installation companies. What is nice about this motor is that it's a permanent magnet three-phase high-efficiency motor that can also serve as a high-efficiency three-phase alternator with little or no modification. First I would like to show you the rotor which at first glance appears to have just basic ceramic magnets but if you look closer you will notice there is actually a laminated iron shield molded behind the magnets. I wonder what the significance of this might be. Is this a magnetic shield or a way of providing more magnetic poles? I've seen this type of shielding before in something called the Quanta Magnet Motor Generator Hybrid as featured here on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and pull the camera off the tripod and I'll show you these laminated, this laminated shield that's in this rotor. As you can see here, there's actually that's about an eighth inch layer of iron shielding behind the magnets. I'm now going to assemble this rotor onto the stator and do a simple demonstration here. magnets in this thing are pretty strong. you got to kind of fight with it to get it centered here. The engineering on this is pretty nice. They designed the bolt so that when you unscrew the bolt it actually pulls the rotor off of this wine shaft. So pretty easy to take this apart and put it back together. As you can see here I simply cut the entire bottom out of the outer tub of the washing machine. This actually came out of a Whirlpool top loading machine and after removing the tub seal from around the shaft um, this rotor is relatively easy to turn. Although there is some noticeable cogging but still very easy to spin with just one finger. And with the meter connected to um, just two, two of the three legs out of the, the three-phase alternator here. Um, I can easily gem demonstrate and, and generate over 120 volts by spinning it with just one finger. I'm going to center on the meter here. And if I just spin this with one finger, I'm getting over 130 volts out of this thing. What is this good for? I don't know. But I can imagine there are actually many different ways this motor generator could be used including modifications to operate it like a Bedini pulsed DC fan motor conversion or a wind generator as detailed at a website called yourgreendream.com that has many different ways that this can be wired for wind generator. Um, you don't really want this high of a voltage for a wind generator and you can reconfigure the coils for uh, lower voltages and higher currents. Or maybe even use it as the alternator section of your own self-charging quantum motor generator hybrid. That is all for now. From this dragon, have a great and scaly day.